Right, listen up, team. There have been reports of a new player in the underground. We don't know who it is, but we know they're organized, motivated, and building a team of henchmen and minions the like of which the world has never seen before. This person is attempting to become an evil genius. Mm, sir, sir. What is it, Perkins? Would you say that the evil genius would have an underground lair, sir? It would appear not, Perkins. However, I fear it's only a matter of time. What do evil lairs look like, sir? Well, Perkins, if I were to build an evil lair, not that I would, you understand, I'd design an evil lair the like of which the world had never seen. Probably build it into a mountain, Perkins. Underground. Throw in a barracks for the men, and a control room to organize the away teams. And a strong room, of course. Store all my ill-gotten games. Probably have to build some recreation items for the men. They get disloyal, you know. Maggots. Could you build traps? <laughs> Hundreds of them, Perkins. Don't want agents snooping around while you're taking over the world. And I'd build a cover operation to hide the base from prying eyes. Camouflage. That's the key. It's a good thing you're not an evil genius, sir. Don't be such a damn fool, Perkins. Right, team, you have your orders. Get out there and find me a madman. Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Evil Genius. Um, this is probably one of my favorite games. It's, uh... I don't really know how to describe it. But it's basically a base building. That feels a little loud. Let's go ahead and turn the music volume down just a smidgen. There we go. That should be good. Back. Back. So I don't remember exactly how old this game is, um, but it's kind of old. Uh, it came out in the 90s, I think. 90, 96, 97. Something like that. No, later than that. I don't know, it doesn't really matter per se, but basically, like the intro said, you are an evil genius hell-bent on conquering the world. So, I'm pretty decent at this game, but I'm not really good enough to do a hard run. So we're just going to go ahead and stick to medium. Alright, so here we have a choice of three geniuses, three evil geniuses. Alright, so there's Maximilian, Alexis, and Shen Yu. So, the difference between them is not just... That still feels really loud. Give me seconds. Man, shut up. I'll turn it back up once we get back into the game. I feel like I'm yelling. So that might I might have turned that all the way down, but fuck it. Well, I'll deal with that in a minute. Alright, so, um, like I said, uh, three evil geniuses. Uh, Maximilian, Alexis, and Shen Yu. Um, apart from the way they look they do have different bonuses throughout the game. So, uh, as I said, I'll, I'll go ahead and read the description. So it says, Take control as Maximilian. Short, bad-tempered, and utterly insane. You are the fabulously wealthy industrialist. Your ambition is to conquer the world through advanced research and technological supremacy. Alexis. Take control as Alexis. Elegant and beautiful. You are the adorable multi-millionaire heiress. Your beauty, your beautiful countenance, commands the utmost respect and loyalty from those who are fortunate enough to be chosen to be your minions. Finally, Shen Yu. Take control as Shen Yu. Mystical and inscrutable. <laughs> An inscrutable evil genius. You are the... Quixotic? Right? Quixotic? Super criminal? Turn, su turn special agent? Turns evil genius. Your powerful global network of conspiratorial conspirators ensures you have hidden influence over the governments of the world. So, um, they all give bonuses depending on which one you pick. And it, it kind of hints at it in their description. So with Maximilian, since you're a wealthy industrialist, you get more money uh, to start with, I believe. Alexis, the loyalty from her minions drops slower than the other two evil geniuses. And Shen Yu, since you have a global network of conspirators, um, it's, it, it makes it easier for your minions to do work on the uh, um, the world. Like in, in, cause, well, I'll explain it once I get there, but there, there's a, a, a world domination screen. And it allows your minions to do to go to go longer without being detected, and it, it gives them slight bonuses. So they all have their ups and downs. Um, obviously, Maximilian has, you know, it's easier for you to start because he has more money. Alexis keeps the more powerful minions longer, and you know, Shinyu allows you to do more things. They also have their downsides as well. Um, I forget what all of them are because it's been a while since I've played. I'll probably I should probably look that up. 
Um, I'm also using a patch. Um, there, like, well, obviously with, with the base game, there, there were some some quirks and patch fixes, those. Um, but I'm going to be playing a Shen Yu. He is my favorite just because of the global network of conspirators. Um, I like to do a lot of work in the um, Overlord map. No. World Domination map, I think is what it's called. So basically, let's get started. Oh, also, they each start with... There's like three main like right-hand men. There's like henchmen and minions. Henchmen are... Well, I'll... I'll, I'll Describe. It. We'll, we'll get into that once the game actually starts. And I'm also going to go ahead and check. New room blueprints now available. You shut your ass. All right. So let's pause this real quick. Um, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and jump out. I'm going to check the volume on that just to kind of see what everything sounds like, and I'll be back in a second. See you guys in a bit. All right. Um, I'm, I, I'm actually going to go ahead and leave the music where it's at because it's really, really loud. I am going to have to pause at certain areas to describe things. But real quick. Um, so this is the this is the, this is our our island, our world map. Well, not really our world map. It's just our island. Uh, you start off with our. This is our evil genius. Um, now, I do know this guy's downside. His downside is his circle of influence. This little area around him is actually smaller than the other two I think he, uh, uh, evil masterminds. So that is his downside. He but it's not right. that big a one, so oh, that's why yes. I prefer him. Alright, so there are two types of people who work for us on, the, on, on our islands. There are minions, which are these guys, and then there are henchmen. And then there's douchebag cats, which does appear to pop up a lot in my videos, because I have douchebag cats. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so the main difference is uh, minions you cannot directly control like I can click on them and I can tell them to go places but it won't actually do anything and the henchmen are our right hand men and I can directly control them um, each of the evil geniuses starts with one of three different henchmen uh, this particular evil genius Shen Yu starts with Lord Kane which I should have clicked on the little thing that had his um, let's actually go ahead and check that out real quick. If I can even get it to pop up, let's do information. Henchman, Lord Kane, here we go. So this is the basic abilities of Lord Nella. So it has, you know, his background, which I'll go ahead and read real quick. <clears throat> so it says, Lord Kane is an almost mythical figure in the criminal underworld. Many urban legends hoard Lord Kane responsible for pretty much every major crime or disaster this century, from the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand to the Hindenburg. Unlike most urban legends, they are actually true in this case. Although Lord Kane is of, uh, is of course uh, meticulous in ensuring that no evidence can ever link him to his deeds, he insists to this day that his biggest crime was simply the result of a deaf lackey who misheard his order of a bit of light panic, eh? As the ship Titanic sinker. <laughs> With the European aristocracy wrapped around his little finger and the unwashed masses quaking in fear at his very name, Lord Kane is both a master manipulator and deadly combatant. Which begs the question of why is he working for us? But, you know, whatever. So, these are his abilities. He starts off with one. Let me just select him real quick. So, all of the um, henchmen, I keep wanting to call them minions, all the henchmen have three abilities. They all have the first one that they all start with, which is gather minions, um, and then two more. Whereas with Lord Kane, those abilities are Psychic Terror and Smooth Operator. Um, you really want to, with Lord Kane, you really want to try to get Psychic Terror as quickly as possible because it allows him to um, panic enemy agents and you can kind of cheese it a little bit, although the patch kind of fixed that. Okay, that was weird, but the game kind of, the screen went black there for a second on my side. You guys won't see it because I'll probably cut it out, but anyway. Um, so real quick, let's go ahead and click on this. So this is the in-game... Uh, let me click on henchmen. Henchmen are the most powerful weapons in your arsenal. In addition to their standard attacks, all henchmen have three special abilities. They all start with the Gather Minions ability, which rallies nearby minions round them for a short time period. Their two unique abilities can be unlocked by the accumulation of experience points, gained by killing agents, or by having your henchmen participate in successful acts of infamy. You start the game with a single henchman. 
as you gain not Yeah, so basically that's all the same shit I just said. I mean, there's more stuff there that we haven't gone into, but you'll, you'll see that as we get into it. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we actually want to build into our... Our, our, like this is this is just a mountain. It's not the classic volcano um, badassness. But let's actually, let's actually go ahead and check out our um, objectives. So we have get acquainted with the island and start expanding your lair, um, which is this main objective. And underneath this, you know, ensure a healthy minion force by building a barracks. Um, we need a control room for acts of inf infamy, and we need to kill some investigators, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't think they're on the island yet. I could be wrong, though. Nope. And I'm looking down here. What is this? Use these buttons to select your evil genius. Blah, 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 We don't need her. That's what I'm here for. So, basically, what we want to do, um, if you've ever played or heard of, well, basically, you know, we right-click on, you know, where we want to build, and then we select the room layout. Which we want to start with a corridor because you can't get anywhere without a corridor. So we're going to go ahead and build back a little bit. Come out this way. And that should be good for that. Go start. Underway. And then authorize it to actually build. So what'll happen? Room oh, look, there's the investigator. So our minions will go. And they should. Is that an old peasant? Go ahead and kill them, Lord Kane. They deserve death. New rooms are available for construction. New objects are available for purchase. Okay, guys, whenever you want to actually build that damn room will be nice. Okay, Lord death Kane, kill these guys too. Is all they're fit for. Seriously? I think build this room. Room construction on hold. There we go. Damn it. Oh, I guess he was all the way down here. That's one of the things about this game that's kind of buggy, is you'll tell your guys to do something, will, of course. and it'll pick yeah. one guy on the map who can do it. It doesn't matter whether he's the closest one or not, he'll just fucking run towards it, and it'll take forever. So basically what'll happen is they will pick up one of these briefcases, it'll take from our money supply, the henchman will run to one of two buildings, this boat dock or this helicopter dock. Um, I don't really quite know which what determines which, but... So he'll run in here. We got task complete because I killed all those investigators. And he'll pick up some explosives. And then he'll run down and he'll go ahead and blow up this whole section. Or, you know, really, more accurately, mine it out. And that will allow us to build further into our base. I think... I did that right, but then now there's no... Turns over here. I'm gonna have to fix that later. All right, and then he runs in there, and then I got the tarp. It's building the corridor. Awesome corridor build. So, like the game said, the next thing we're gonna need is a barracks, which I'm going to go ahead and put right here. And I like to have a relatively big barracks. Now, that, like, what'll happen is we have a starting capacity of so many. We have a starting capacity of five minions, and right now we only have three. So let's go ahead and up this to five. So we have all five worker minions. Uh, these are other classes of minions that can be unlocked later through the game. Uh, but really, the workers are your your basic units for obvious reasons. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to building that barracks. Like I said, I like a, I like a, I like a pretty big barracks. So, um, ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -da -da. oh, we need items. So, uh, bunk beds recover stamina, I believe. Yeah. Oh no, they recover endurance. Same basic deal. Um, let me actually go ahead and click on the minion. If you want your minions to react to a character, shut your ass. I said, shut your ass, lady. Okay, where is it? Um, object replenishment. Henchmen, events, blah, 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 blah. Oh, screw it, I'll just do it myself. Alright. So as you can see, each of these guys has three bars. It's health, um, from top to bottom it's health, loyalty, stamina, oh shit, what are the last two? Uh, I always get them confused between... Is it stamina? No, green is smarts. Um, 
the pink purplish one is uh, it's been a while since I played this I'm forgetting all of what they are what those things are um, concentration and green is endurance yeah that's what it is all right so basically we need bump guides to replenish our minions um, what what did, what what did it say it was endurance no, we need more we need more than just so we'll start off with only five, because each bunk bed can hold two two peeps. But then we're also going to want some lockers. Now we want lockers because each locker that we get uh, increases our total lockers minion are very count. very useful as they increase the minion capacity of yeah. the base. The basic capacity value is determined by your... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I was already talking about that. I forget exactly what they do. I think lockers increase it by two. Object has been ordered. But we're going to want a bunch of these. Object purchase order confirmed. And we, can, we can just blow all our money in the very beginning. Well, not all of our money, but we're gonna we're gonna want to blow a lot of our money. All right, so we'll go ahead and have him get building that. We're also going to want to build another corridor right here. Otherwise, that. Man, you loud. We're also gonna go ahead and build a control room right here. We're gonna make it kind of small to start with. But it's gonna get. Well, no, we'll go ahead and go a little big. All right, so the control room is important. Rooms can be built in all kinds of. Blah 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 blah. Um, so the control room is important because it allows us to actually interact with the world screen, which we will get to once we get the control room. Uh, but control panels um, allow us to research. Control uh, panels let's bring filter it up. information from around. The Shut up. Man, she's loud. Um. Well, basically, let's go ahead and... Basically, these are important. I'll get to why once we actually... Mm, excuse me. Have them. I'll start with two. Start with one of those. Throw a time clock in the room. And throw a set of doors on this bad boy. Go ahead and build that. Uh, we're also going to want... Another strong room. Which... We want the strong room kind of close to the front of the base. Although it is a target for thieves. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Oh, man. I think I might have messed this up. Room Let's pause this. Um, tell you what, I'm actually going to go ahead and pause the, pause the video real quick. And I will come back once I've got some things set up. Because kind of trying to think of where I want to put these on the fly is... A little blah -de blah Um, well, no, not really. Because I want a corridor right here now why the weird shape you might ask good question person uh, it's because I like to have a way to head off bad guys in the event like I, I like to have some bends um, let's actually put this one more down and remove yeah there we go yeah that'll be good That. Room no, go ahead and build that. Alright, so with the barracks built, we can now have more minions. Up to 11. You may have noticed that all people have five statistics. These okay. represent the person's well being. Yeah, she's talking about it. Alright. So, as you can see, these minions will go back and forth um, doing the same thing. They'll run into the storeroom, grab a, grab a case of money. It'll take from our overall gold. They'll take it and, and then going by the object. You might also notice that as they're running by these uh, body bags, um, they're getting little arrows, different color arrows that kind of go, see that goes up, that goes down. Um, the area around our our overlord projects a booster. Important information will be shut up. I'm talking. I am talking, lady. You are not talking. You were shot in the tutorial, which these guys don't get to see. Um, so as, like, this control area around our overlord, or Overlord. I keep calling him Overlord around our evil genius. Uh, boost stats for our minions. Uh, for I think all of them, it's loyalty and smarts. Let's actually go ahead and get him inside. Oh, yeah. It's dangerous to be outside. Lord Kane, you can do whatever the hell you want. I don't care. You're Lord Kane. Alright. So we want more minions. More, I say. I know we can't, but I'm going to boost it up to 30. 
because all of these things should continue to get built and get us more minions. Alright, so we want to go ahead and build a strong room. Let us go ahead and put one right there. That should be good. Alright, so a little trick I like to do with the strong room is when um, enemies are stealing from your from your money supply, they can actually only steal from the gold pile. They do not take from the briefcase. So what we can do is we can put the briefcase right here and put the doors right here. So this will, this will effectively still block the strong room off and allow our minions to get in and out of there. I don't know if I want that right there. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Damn it, I'm gonna need to get that inside at some point. Let's actually go ahead and go this way. Come down a little bit. New home build order confirmed. Yeah, I know. Room construction uncaused. Let's actually go ahead and get a door right this here. Shed to heal up. Door right there. And a fire extinguisher. All construction workers are busy at the Although we actually we can't actually use a fire extinguisher yet, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. What are we up to? Seven minions? I know our capacity is twenty two, but we've almost built all the lockers. Uh Let's go ahead and get a freezer built. Freezers are important. Uh, we don't really want them near the front of the base, but we don't want them too deep in the base either. Mostly because freezers are an object for heat. Um, actually, I'll tell you what, guys. I'll go ahead and pause the video like I said I was going to do. Like 20 minutes, like however long ago it was. Um, so I can kind of figure out a good layout for what I want. And I will be back once I have something working. But I will talk about the other rooms once they get built. So see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I figured out where I want to put it. So I'm going to put, put my storeroom right here. My strong room right here. Sorry. My freezer right here. And obviously my control room is still going right here. Um, we have all of our lockers built that we have room for. So we can only have 25 guys right now. Um, as it stands, we get one worker. Every, we recruit one worker every, six, every 60 seconds for no money. Uh, we want to go ahead and increase that at least for a little bit. So we're going to up this to one worker every 40 seconds for $500 each recruit. So they recruit a little bit faster for a little bit of money. I don't want to pump it up too high because we only have so much money. And plus we still got a lot of shit to buy. Uh, I kind of want to get this freezer built as soon as possible. But uh, basically what I was saying before is bodies project... Um, a control area as well, which is also loyalty and smarts. The same as the over or ma uh, evil genius. I keep <laughs> want to call him the mastermind and the overlord. Um, but what it does is any um, minion who crosses into that threshold actually loses loyalty and smarts because you know they freak out over the side, over the over the dead body. But with a freezer, they will pick up any dead bodies and put them in there, and the freezer actually negates the. Um, the control area, the aura, whatever you want to call it, around the dead body. The downside is, is the bodies degrade slower, so they're in your base for longer. Which, you know, has its negatives because they also generate heat. We're going to go ahead and put our I think he, evil he genius walk. into All right. the... the hell is this? The control room? Yeah. Alright, now that our inside strong room is built, we actually want to go ahead and demolish this one just as soon as I build these. Because I guess we can't demolish it as long as we don't have another... Where the hell are you? There you are. I suppose we could have just moved this one inside, but screw it. In. Uh, for now, we're only going to have the one entrance, just because I like to have one way in and out. Uh, makes it a little bit easier to control. 
Uh, I might not ever actually build. Over here. As well as being a cash cut. Shit it. Um, I never use topside shacks, and I almost never use traps, but I might show a few of them off. You All now right. have access to the Shut game. up! Alright, so world domination. So we have the control panels up, and we have the memory Zero banks. Thank you. Thank you. Shut your mouth. Alright, so reports indicate that trained civilians are holidaying on the island. Capture and imprison a maid in a security holding cell. So, mostly this first island is just to kind of give you the hang of things more than, you know, the tutorial did. Which, again, you won't see the tutorial because I'm not going to play it. Um... Da -da 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 -da. Oh, you guys cannot. Let's go ahead and get these bodies on that rack. Because he can't build that while that fucking body's in the way. Yeah, I know the object is blocking. So, the rack basically... It allows you to store six bodies in the space of where three would be. And it's got little little cows to kind of describe it, to kind of try to hide it. Like, oh no, it's just a, it's just a meat hook. That's all that is. Let's go ahead and destroy this room. room demolition imminent. But... So yeah, there's a lot of little funny things in this game. Oh, something else that your e that your evil genius can do is you can actually execute minions to increase uh, loyalty in the area. Let's actually go ahead and increase this to one extra man's. All right, there's the maid. So we actually want to go ahead and capture her. We also want to build an armory. So the armory is kind of an all-purpose thing. Good way. Minions will defend your base far more. God, I keep forgetting that that doesn't always bring up what I want it to. So basically, the arm armory is, a, is an all-purpose security room um, slash prison. So the security room is relatively harmless. We can put it pretty much out in the open. It won't generate any heat. But the prison is another story. So for now, since we don't want to go too deep into our base, and we can always rearrange things later, Room construction underway. we'll just go ahead and put the holding cell right here. Order confirmed. Room construction Slap a door on that bad boy. Object has been ordered. Um, but I think for now, this is a pretty good spot to stop, especially since it just saved. Uh, this is a pretty good spot this to... Blah, blah, blah. This is a pretty good spot to stop this episode. Um... When we come back, we'll finish building the armory and pick up a new type of minion, hopefully. As soon as we can capture that maid. So yeah, um, thank you very much for watching and join me next time on Let's Play Evil Genius.